Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this screencast, I'd like to give you a quick overview of the board game and show you some of the basic settings uh, within Adobe Flash for it. To begin with, let me go ahead and preview and let's go through the game together and show you how the game works. Alright, our basic introduction screen here. You can customize, add your own text in here, and you can even upload your own narration audio if you like to. You'll notice that there's four different icon options that the learner has to use for the, uh, for the game, like so four game pieces. Um, you can customize these if you want to upload your own. As we give you the FLA source file, um, you can really modify and change anything on here if you like to. Um, so let's go ahead and pick the green Jeep. Notice that the icon shows over here on the bottom left, and the learner has to roll the dice. All right, let's go ahead and draw our first question card. Question number one, you'd obviously insert your own text in here and upload your own um, content for each of the answers. The entire um, string of text here can be modified and changed, whether you want it to be A, B, C, or D, or you can just make it one, two, three, or have no, um, no option at the beginning like that, just have straight text. Go and click uh, get one correct here. Notice that we get 100 points awarded to us, um, we get the correct remediation, and we can continue on the game. Roll the dice again. And we land on our 500 point box here. So this question is worth 500 points now. We get it correct, points are awarded us, and we get our remediation text. Let's go ahead and get one incorrect. Um, So 500 points, if I give this one incorrect, incorrect remediation shows, no points are awarded, and we can continue on the game. Now on the game board, there's red X's, and there's also this green times two. If you land on the red X, you'll lose all of your points, and if you land on the times two, then that'll times whatever your score is by two, if you get the answer correct. All right, so that's the, how the game basically works, and let's go ahead and go into the settings so that we can see what options are available to us. To do so, you'll want to go up to your, your timeline, click on the Actions layer, and select the little A there for Actions. And then we'll go to our Actions panel. If your Action panel is not open, go ahead and go up to Window, and select Actions. Alright, so the overall game options are the first ones that we see here. You can randomize your question order if you like, just by setting this to True, or leave it default as False. Um, if you like to select a the certain number of questions for your game, um, you have your options between 5 and 20. So if you like to, uh, let's say, make it 20, you just change the number there. This is your question type area. You have multiple choice as an option, true or false, or multiple answer. And there's also a mixed option, which means you can mix it up and have one question be true or false, a couple be multiple answer, maybe one's multiple choice. And down below, you can actually set that for each individual question. Whatever you change right here, if you want to make them all true or false, uh, whatever you change in this spot will actually modify the entire game. So if you want to set everything to be multiple answer, you can just go ahead and just trade mixed with multiple answer, and the entire quiz will now be multiple answer. I'm going to leave it mixed because down below I, I uh, might want to change things to be a, you know, just a kind of a mix of different question types. Your next section is your game sound options. This is uh, your introduction music that plays, your button sounds over and clicked, your correct and incorrect options uh, for the sound. Um, I'll show you in another tutorial on how to upload your own sound and how to change those, but know that this is where the, the options are. Um, if you like to turn all those sounds off, you can just set this to be false and that would automatically turn off all the game sounds. You also have options here for your narration sound for your introduction and conclusion. Alright, moving on to the individual question options now. You'll notice that you have a spot here for question one and question two and so forth. So let's go ahead and look at some of these options here for question one. You can set the question type here, multiple choice, true or false, or multiple answer. Which answers are correct or incorrect? and then also your narration for that question. Once again, another tutorial I'll show you on how to, how to edit um, the template and these question options. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the board game flash template and some of the basic options for changing it. 